Lord, mightiest prophet of the Lord. Amen, uh, uh, Pastor Sophie. The Lord Jehovah, he has spoken with me. The Lord, the Most High, the most fearful and dreadful God of Israel, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah Mekadishken, Jehovah El Olam, Jehovah El Hoseinu, Jehovah El Rohi, Jehovah El Roy, Jehovah the Creator of all the universe and the Creator of the earth and all men in the earth. The Lord, he that has chosen Jerusalem, and the voice of the Lord said, Yes, Jerusalem is the center of the earth, in a previous conversation. But this past night, the Lord, he spoke with me in a very profound way, in a very tremendous and very, very fearful way. And in this conversation, I even get to know the particular day and time, because I was at a place, and I see people driving, some people whom I know, driving, and on that day it rains. And then as they're driving to a meeting, however, at that very time, the Lord, he lifts me up into the skies, and he takes me deep into the deep space. And then while there, he asked me to strike the planets with my left prophetic arm, and at that place in deep space, as he that speaks with you, the mightiest prophet of the Lord, lifted his left prophetic arm to strike the planets. It looks like it was a complete galaxy. I may not know exactly how big it was, but it looks like a complete set, a galaxy. And when I struck the planets with my hand like this, the entire set collapsed. It was a, a f the most dreadful moment the universe has ever visited. They essentially all collapsed in a shocking and fearful and very dreadful manner that shocked me too. Again, the Lord Jehovah, he lifted me up this past night and took me deep into space, the depth of space in the deep space, and then he asked me to strike the planets. And above the planets where he lifted me up, when I lifted up my left prophetic arm to strike the planets like this, as I went towards striking them before my hand could touch them, as I struck like this, brought my hand like this to strike them, they were crushed with tremendous force and power I have never seen. It was a dreadful moment, a fearful moment, as they crushed and collapsed. And then darkness plunged. There was a huge darkness, a total darkness that plunged the earth also. I think it plunged the earth also. Because I see people driving, it's raining, and then uh, they're going down the valley, and then they're going up. And then a total darkness consumes the earth. So it's going to be a tremendous time in the church right now. This is the most fearful time in the history of the earth. The Lord is now speaking the voice of the Lord, he that is the creator of the universe. The voice of the Lord is now in deep space, is above the planets. And the Lord is shaking the planets that they may wake up from slumber, that the mountains may come down, that they too may prepare for the glorious coming of the Messiah. The entire universe will prepare now for the glorious coming of the Messiah. And this is a tremendous conversation and prophecy that I am giving today. Because considering it's coming on the face of what the Lord spoke yesterday, the Lord has spoken in very profound ways. The Lord has spoken in very unmistakable ways, in ways that should really draw the attention of all humanity to his clarion call, the call he's making unto the nations when the Lord is saying that this is the hour for repentance, this is the hour to turn away from sin, the sin of deception, lying. Be very careful, beloved people in the church, because this is the hour the devil will lie to you. You will start sitting around in deception, lying, uh, loving money behind the scenes and all this kind of thing. Make sure that your ways are straight, 
that you are upright before the Lord, that you choose righteousness, you choose holiness, you shun every form of evil and reject wickedness, that sin may be, your, 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 your walk may have zero tolerance to sin. Sin may be a stranger unto your salvation because the Holy Spirit has been released and now he has sent a messenger to put in place to install certain precursor, certain basic prerequisites of the coming of the Messiah to prepare the way for the coming of the Lord. And I'm reading from the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 26. And he says, People will faint from terror, apprehensive of what is coming on the world, for the heavenly bodies will be shaken. Again, Luke 21, 26 says, People will faint from terror, apprehensive of what is coming on the world, for the heavenly bodies will be shaken. And then the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 30, verses 30 to 31. I read only a section of 30, then I'll read extensively the entire 31. It says, I will show wonders in the heavens and on the earth, he goes on, with all that you see happening on the earth, the beetles of smoke and fire, the Californian fire that I prophesied here, the unspeakable, the unforgettable, the historic fire I've seen before. But he says again, I repeat, Joel 2, verse 30, part A, I will show wonders in the heavens. And then Joel chapter 2, verse 31, he says, The sun will be turned into darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And so this day, as I speak with you, beloved people, as we are winding down on the month of October, as I speak with you on this Sunday here today, the last Sunday of this month, the Lord Jehovah he spoke with me on this last Sunday of October, the year 2017, and it took me deep into deep space. And then he asked me to strike the planets using my left prophetic arm. And I remember when I lifted up my left prophetic arm above the planets from where he lifted me up, to go ahead and strike the planet as I took my hand to strike them, they crumbled with tremendous force, unspeakable force. It's going to be the most terrifying terror, the biggest terror, the most terrifying moment in the history of the universe. The planet crashed with tremendous surge, tremendous power of explosion, unbelievable, and terror consumed all the planets of the Earth. Now, the Messiah is coming, I have seen the coming of the Messiah. This is he about whom the Bible wrote. The Bible promised that in the last days he would send the messenger that prepares the way. That he would send he who is the voice of one calling out in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the wilderness a highway for our God. Make straight your ways, make straight your living, Make straight your salvation in Christ Jesus, for the coming of the Messiah is near. It is he about whom the Bible promised when the Lord said he would send a messenger before the Messiah to prepare his glorious way. But now you can see that the power with which he has sent me is unbelievable, unspoken, unheard of, historic. Because now he has taken me into space to crush the planets. And this is coming right on the heel of the prophecy I gave on that 7th of October, the year 2007, when I decreed that strictly now, based on the words of my tongue, two stars would collide. There would be a big collision above the earth here, a mighty collision that would shake the entire universe. And now you see that that just happened this month of August. On the 17th of August, 2017, after a whole decade. But now the Lord is in a prophetic acceleration, as you can see, that now he has sent me tremendous power, and it looks like I crushed down almost an entire galaxy. I don't understand how big, how extensive it is, but it was shocking, and the entire earth was plunged into darkness. May those who have ears prepare for the glorious coming of the Messiah be it Muslim, be it Hindu, be it Buddhist, 
be it atheist, it does not matter now. You simply repent and receive Christ Jesus as Lord and be born again and walk in righteousness because the coming of the Messiah is at hand. Shalom Todah Rabbah Todah Lachem Todah Todah